You know, it seems to be that um, in medicine nowadays with Alzheimer's disease, everybody is focusing on what's called amyloid beta plaques and these tau tangles, okay? And, you know, what we found is most of the drugs that have been in trial uh, have failed, you know, the drugs that have been used for Alzheimer's disease. And most of the research so far has been done. You know, it seems to be that um, in medicine nowadays with Alzheimer's disease, everybody is focusing on what's called amyloid beta plaques and these tau tangles, okay, on like trying to prevent these uh, amy amyloid beta plaques. However, I use the analogy, those plaques, it's kind of like, um, you know, if your kid falls off their bike and scabs their knee, and a few days later they have a, a scar. You know, the scar is, you know, has occurred because of the, the wound. So these plaques, we're believing, are really in uh, dementia, are occurring, you know, after the fact. So that's a sign that you have either, you know, the beginnings of Alzheimer's dementia or, you know, have had it for a long time. So the drugs that we've been trying to develop, you know, in the United States and worldwide, focusing on the plaques is probably not been effective because the plaques are occurring after the fact. So the interesting thing is that we see that this um, uh, methylene blue increases the cytochrome oct oxidase activity. And what we find as we age, uh, we see that the cytochrome oxidase slows down, which thereby slows uh, blood flow to the brain. And it seems to be that it's kind of the cytochrome oxidase or the decrease in its activity that's leading to the, you know, the, you know, the on early onset dementia, you know, Alzheimer's disease, which is, you know, typically then, you know, as the disease advances, leading to the uh, plaques and the disease as, you know, as we know it, if you've ever, you know, had a family member or a friend with Alzheimer's disease, it's terrible. So a lot of this research being done is maybe on this methylene blue. Maybe it's just, a, you know, that five to 10 milligram once or twice a day that we see. Could this be a drug that could be used to kind of prevent or slow down the pro progression of Alzheimer's disease? So that's where I think there's a lot of interest and a lot of papers on it. So far to date, uh, the, the clinical uh, trials that have been done on uh, methylene blue with Alzheimer's have been in the uh, rat model or animal model, and they've shown it to be you know, fairly effective. So we do need some more studies in humans, but we are you know, starting to see that I think this is a good possibility for this methylene blue. And of course, there's other things of talking about brain health that you can use. We have products here at the pharmacy. You can speak to Maria, our nutritional expert, about new adapt, brain sustain, memorol, fish oils, good quality fish oils. They're all good for brain health. But our hope as we learn more and more and we'll you know, get back to you and feel free to talk to us or speak to one of our pharmacists here, is that methylene blue may be a promising treatment to kind of slow down the progression of dementia and Alzheimer's disease that we see as, you know, in the aging population that we have. Thank you, and as always, if you have any questions, please, uh, please feel free to call us.